hello my name is Brenda my channel is handwork maniac and today I'm gonna talk about frenzy of finishes 23 in my last video if you watched it I talked about how I would really like love to finish 23 projects by the end of this year by the beginning of 2023 cross stitch projects <laughs> and then I had a couple of comments saying, I wish you would show all of your 23 projects and where they are. And I thought that's a brilliant idea. So I decided I would do that today. And when you know when you're watching somebody on a video and you can only see the top part of their shirt and you're waiting for the whole video but for them to move a little bit so you can read what else it says, <laughs> that drives me crazy. <laughs> so I'll just show you right now. It says grow positive thoughts. Just so you don't worry or wonder all through the video what it says. All right, here's my board that shows all of my projects. I believe I said last time I had 52 projects and I would love to get it down to under 30. So I figured I would need to finish 23 by 2023. So I put all the ones over here that I would like to finish by the end of the year. And then everything over here will have to wait until next year. So as my friend Shauna says, it's now in craft prison because it has to wait. Except for 12, um, not 12, Kingdom of Books is a stitch along with my friend. And so we, I will keep working on that one. I have a section, about a half a book to finish every month. But otherwise, I will just be focusing on these 23. And I did finish one of them since my last video. So I'm going to color them red and move them to the bottom when they're finished so that the red will keep creeping up like a thermometer on a uh, people who are doing, raising money for a good cause. You know how they have a thermometer that they move up on their goal. So the... I'll color them red and move them to the bottom. So now I have 22 left of 23. I'll keep a running count up here. And now, let, well, I'll show you this one first, and then I'll show you all of these and these little ones. They're on little round magnets because they're little. Project. So the one I finished was a stitch for all seasons by Little Dove Designs Summer. A stitch for all seasons summer. There's four of them for each, one for each season. But I finished this one. I'm so excited. I started it last July, a year ago July. So it took me a little over a year to finish. I did this part up here, the very last. That's the part you haven't seen yet. That one was so fun to work on. Very has a very summery vibe. All right, now for the 22 cross stitch projects that I would like to have finished by the end of the year. And if I don't finish them by the end of the year, I would really like to. I'll finish as many as I possibly can. But if there's any that I didn't, sorry, I got a hair in my eye, <laughs> that I don't finish. <laughs> then my next goal after that will be by May 1st, before Mania starts. This one is... No, not that one, not that one. one. The Big Zipper, by, the Big Round Zipper by Bent Creek. Here's a picture of what it looks like when it's finished. It comes as a kit only in six parts. So you have to buy all six parts. They come with the fabric and the floss. It is not available as chart only and it's clear back from 2008. So you, there are, I've seen it in um, brick and mortar stores as I have visited over the last few years. Um, you know, they might not have all the parts but they'll have a couple of the parts. 
So I would check the secondary market and call around to uh, needlework stores if you're interested in stitching this one, but you have to have all six parts to stitch it. And the directions with the stitch count and everything is in part one. So make sure you find part one <laughs> before you want to start stitching on it. It is on, it is charted to be on 18 count linen over two threads with pearl cotton number five. So it is a big chunky project, it has like a big chunky feel to it. I started in the middle right here. Part one is the border around the outside. So originally you were supposed to stitch the border first. That would have been part one, but I'm going backwards. <laughs> started in the middle and this section is called Flower Hill, this section of the chart. It is number five pearl cotton and I'm doing mine on 25 count potato Lugana over two threads. So that's about 12 and a half stitches per inch. The called for fabric is 18 count fab linen over two threads. So that would be nine stitches per inch. So mine's going to be just a little bit smaller than the original piece. I just think it is so cute. I love the plaid roof. Well, you probably can't see it that close. Maybe right there. I just love how it's turning out. I'm so excited for that one. My daughter, Stitchy Marie, is her uh, floss tube channel and her Instagram page is also stitching this one. We found it in at Stitcher's Paradise in Las Vegas. So check her out. Um, she showed her progress in her last video, maybe. And definitely be watching for her next video because she had the most brilliant idea of how to organize her project bags and also make them part of a decoration in her room, in her stitching room. So she showed it on her Instagram page if you want to go look there. And I told her she needs to show it in her next video. So watch for that. It is amazing. It blew my mind. I was like, that is so brilliant. Because <laughs> you just can't. There's not enough exclamation points for that idea, Marie. Oh, sorry. I bumped you. I have the fabric that it came with the kit. Hang on. Sitting right here. I didn't think about the fact that I might want to show it. This is the fabric that came with it. It is a very stiff 18 count linen. Very see-through, almost like burlap. And it's charted to stitch on this over two threads with the number five pearl cotton. And it is on this count of fabric, it is a large, it's 21.4 inches by 21.4 inches if you do it on the called for 18 count over two threads. That's nine stitches per inch. Mine will be, sorry, I keep kicking the leg. Mine will be a little bit smaller because I'm doing 12 and a half stitches per inch. Mine will probably be more like 18 and a half inches across. The next one is Snowy Green, Little Snowy Green Cottage by Nora Corbett. This was a March mania start for me because this year I did it in March, but next year I'm going to go back to doing it in May. I like that a lot better. It's on 32 count sea spray with the called for threads, all the specialty threads. And I don't have very much so far. It has some um, sparkly threads, some DMC, some um, Arctic rays floss on it. It's going to be lots of fun. 
and I think it has beads too. Oh, yes, it does. Beads and treasure. There's lots of beads and treasures on it. So it is going to be gorgeous. But it's not huge. It's 100 by 112. So it's not like a huge um, mirabilia. And yes, I know I'm crazy. As I said in my last video, things would have to go just right between now and the end of the year to possibly finish all of these. <laughs> but I love the challenge of seeing how many of them I can get done. This is the Flower Shop by Thistles. Mine is on... Forty-six count natural, I think. And that is what they have so far. This was also a March mania start. So pretty. Using the called four threads, one strand of floss over two fabric threads on 46 count natural. This one is Peppermint Candy by Blackberry Lane Designs. It's a Christmas ornament with a front and a back. You can see the front of the elf right here and then you can see the back of the elf right here. So the front of the house, the back of the house. Mine is on, I think the called for fabric. Yep, 32 count gingerbread by Picture This Plus. With the called for threads and beads. And that is what I have so far. The elf is done over one. The cherry is done over one. Most of it is over two. I think there's some, maybe some details around the house down here that are over one. So cute. That was also a March Mania start. This one is the Hands On Design Laundry Series. Oh, which one am I stitching? Loads of fun, maybe. And it says self-service. Loads of fun. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's three of them. There's loads of fun. Irony. And the never-ending cycle. I started this one this year for March Mania. Loads of fun. And I'm doing it on white. What's an official name? White washed board, 32 count by Fabric Flare. So it has the it looks like, it's printed to look like, and they all fell on the floor, to look like whitewashed board. And this is what I have so far. One clothespin. <laughs> this one is Bumble Honey Company that Deanna from Cherry Hill Stitchery sent me. This one is available in a paper chart only, so you'd need to get it from your local needlework store or an online store that carries paper charts. She does have an Etsy store with PDF charts where she has one that is similar if you, if you really want to buy a PDF. She has this one on her Etsy store. That's a PDF version. 
I am stitching mine with the called for threads on 56 count fabric, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. I have the window open because it is so hot still and our house is we don't have central air conditioning we have a swamp cooler in our house so it pulls air in from the outside runs it through um, wet grass pads and then turns it into cool air that it blows into your house but then you have to have the window open so that the cool air goes comes in and then goes out so you can hear everything that's going out on on the sidewalk outside of my house Uh, yesterday, the thermometer at our house that we have outside said 102 Fahrenheit, but the sun was shining on it, so it was probably more like 98, and I think today is supposed to be very similar. It's just hot. And the swamp cooler makes it humid inside the house. This one... is Fairy Square by Carolyn Manning Designs. This was also a March Mania start. I did a color conversion, changed the oranges to peachy colors and I changed the purples to teals. This is what mine will sort of look like. This is the original. Change some of the greens. This pattern was a gift from my friend Colette. I'm doing mine on 46 count frost by Be Stitch Me. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. So cute. Had to go out and weed my wee village this morning. I'll have Andrew put a little video of it at the end. Not really weed it. There are not very many weeds in it, but the plants in it have completely overgrown everywhere and covered up the houses again. So I had to do some trimming. I had to go out and do some trimming this morning in the wee village. It's a flower garden that I have in my backyard that has little fairy garden houses in it and lots of um, plants that I planted to be yards and rocks for walkways and that kind of thing. There are more videos on my Wee Village on my um, playlist. There's a playlist on my channel that shows not all of them, but some of the videos where I showed a lot of the Wee Village. This is Cricut Collection Summer. I'm stitching this with these with my friend Sharon. We've done all the other three seasons. This is our last one to go. Mine is on Weeks 32 Count Lilac. Was the color I finally decided to stitch it on. With the called for threads, two strands of floss over two fabric threads. And I'm showing you the pattern. Oh my gosh. I wanted a purple that was dark enough because these letters are really light. All the letters are a light color. So I needed a purple that was dark enough for the whites to show up. Beautiful. Started on the Adirondack chair that's right here. This one is uh, 
Summer Schoolhouse, I think, by Brenda Gervais. It's five, four patterns. I think these two come in the same pattern. So it's four patterns. Makes five little pillows, or you can stitch it all as one piece if you want. Stitching this with my friend Kim. Using the called for fabric, which is 28 count mushroom Lugana. And the called for threads, which are gentle arts, weeks, and classic colors. It's a mix of all of them. So all over dyed. One strand of floss over one fabric thread. It's one over one on 28 count. So it's tiny. Almost done with that first section. The colors are so gorgeous. I love her color combination. Hoity Toity by Long Dog Samplers. I'm using a color conversion of silks from Mrs. Seda Silks. And then mine is being stitched on 40 count mallow. Mrs. Seda Silks sells a silk pack for this on her um, I think it's an Etsy site that I bought it from. I changed the colors just a little bit. I took out the pink, this pink, and I added a couple of reds. I think I added Nan's Mulberry and Gloriana Crimson instead of this pink. And then I think I added Fawn because I needed a light brown in there to show up better against the black. Oh, here, Mrs. Theta silks. And then a couple of the other colors I moved to a different symbol, but otherwise they're the same. Oh, and I did add a green, a Vera Soie 2134, Soie d'Alger. All of that's in the description box if you really want all those numbers. Uh oh, the needle's missing. It's probably on the floor somewhere. <laughs> This is what I have so far. This one is so bright and colorful. It's very fall colors. I love it. I'm over halfway done. This is the snapshot series that I'm stitching with my sister-in-law, Debbie. That's my brother, Roger, my older brother, by Sandra Workman Pine Mountain Designs. This is September. There's one for every month. I finished August. It's in my office. Today is September. It's Labor Day, September 5th. So I'm hoping to finish this today and so that I can put it in my office tomorrow, I'm trying to get all the months done. Uh, for this Finishing Frenzy 23, what I'll do is I'll finish, I'll be working on January's in December and I'll finish it and then I won't start February's until a couple weeks into January. So the whole series won't be done by the end of the year, but I won't have one actively going when the year ends. I know I told my daughter Marie I'm cooking the books to make it 23 and 29. 29 left, 23 done. Just because I love it when the numbers work out. This is what I have so far. I love that this September looks like a piece of notebook paper. This is an owl. I just need to finish the owl.
This is Letters A and B by M Designs. I'm just doing the B. It's on 56 count antique white linen with a Verisois 103 black silk. 100 slash 3 black silk. This is Bump and Denight Farm by Praiseworthy Stitches. Just getting to fall season. I love working on this during the fall. It is on 40 count Creek Stone, Silk Weaver Creek Stone. One strand of I called four flosses, mostly overdyes, weak style works, gentle arts, and classic color works. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. The house. And the, the barn is finished. The house is almost finished. And then I have some trees and a gazebo. I think there's a wagon. The gazebo, the wagon, some trees, and this fence. Oh, and these letters. The called for fabric is Haunted Linen from Picture This Plus, 32 count Haunted. I started this one during the Olympics in, was it February? The Winter Olympics? Heart of Winter by Little Dove Designs. They have other seasons of these, these hearts in other seasons now. Mine is on 32 count French Country Rain with the called for floss. Two strands of floss over two fabric threads. That is another one that is just fun, fun to work on. This is Roosters. No, this is RTO Designs and it's called Roasted Chicken with Potatoes. I call it chickens or roosters sometimes, but it's really roasted chicken with potatoes. On, I'm doing mine. It came with let's see, that is not 40, 16 count white Ada, but I'm doing mine on 36 count antique even weave, antique white even weave, two strands of floss over two fabric threads. Still looks the same as the last time I showed it to you. In a bag made for me by Glenda, my good friend Glenda. Look at the inside. It's so cute. It's a winter scene. Gorgeous. This, you've seen it and seen it and seen it and seen it. This is 
Lost to No More. It's a Dimensions Gold collection. The artist is Greg Olson. I'm using the kit fabric, which I believe is an 18 count tannish Ada, and the kit floss. Two strands of floss over two fabric over one Ada square. And this is what I have so far. I've been looking up here. Filling in this tree section, olive tree. He is so gorgeous. Such a pretty design. Such a pretty painting. And they did such a great job of making it into a cross stitch pattern. This is a Teresa Kogut design. She will be the guest, one of the guest designers at Stitch West. The other one will be Little Stitch Girl. And so my friend Kim said, well, we need to be working on a Teresa Kogut piece if we're going to retreat where she's coming to be the guest designer. So I'm stitching this one, Green Coat, Green Coat Santa. one of her Patreon designs. I am a patron of hers. And I'm stitching mine one over one on 28 count even weave in an, some kind of a creamish color. Not very far. is the needle minder I got when we were in Las Vegas at Stitcher's Paradise. What is the called for fabric? Maybe it's the called for fabric. <laughs> Who knows? It's 92 by 136. I don't think she has. I'll have to look for that. I will figure out what fabric that is. Stitch West is a retreat in Salt Lake City in October. Put on by Deb and Kath at Snug Harbor Crafts. Their floss tube channel is Snug Harbor Crafts. This is Beach Comer by Carolyn Manning Designs. I'm doing it one over one on 25 count off white even weave antique white with the called for DMC floss one strand of floss over one fabric thread. My daughter Catherine did this whole outside border for me plus a whole bunch more of these inside some of the, some over here and here that I've covered up now. love that one. That one is so fun. I saw that Georgia Girl Stitches. She was stitching that like a year, year and a half ago. She still is. And I thought, oh, that is so pretty. I need to start that. So I did a year ago. This one is my home in the garden. It's a stitch along with several friends. Colette, the highway stitcher, is our leader, keeping us on track. We divided it up into lines, or just dividing it up into 12 sections. We started it last year in October at Stitch West. And we're hoping to have it finished before we get to Stitch West in October. I think it looks the same as last time I showed it to you because I haven't worked on it yet this month. 
We just have two sections left. It is the called for Gloriana silks. And this is 40 count alabaster fabric, linen. Just such a beautiful, beautiful sampler. This is the new normal by Long Dog Samplers. Mine is on 36 count antique, no, 40 count antique white linen. And I'm using Sulky, S-U-L-K-Y, cotton thread. It comes on king size spools like this, or petite spools like this. And it also comes on an even bigger cone. But these are, I did my own color conversion. These are the colors that I chose. I'm just using this um, sulky 12 weight cotton. They sell lots of different um, sewing machine thread for sewing machines, but they also sell this heavier 12 weight. It's like one and a half strands of DMC or two strands of DMC put together. It's thick, like maybe number eight pearl cotton. I ordered mine from sulky.com, S-U-L-K-Y dot C-O-M. That is their American division website. And I'm working on this pink bubble right here with the rabbits in it. This one is so fun. Every time I stitch on it, I find some little detail that I didn't see was there before that reminds me about something about the pandemic and coming out of the pandemic. This project bag is by Victoria's Crafty Room. She made this. I love it. It's very Christmassy. She is now doing floss tubes with her daughter to Georgia Peaches is their new floss tube channel. I've met her several times at StitchCon. Hello, Victoria, and your lovely daughter, now that I've met her too. Love your floss tubes. Videos. Floss tube videos. This is, where's the picture? This is Home Sweet Home Stitch Along by the Bay Needle Arts. Comes out one section every month. It started last November. So it will be finished before the end of the year. Mine is on 46 count vintage by Be Stitch Me with the called for floss, one strand of floss, DMC floss, one strand over two fabric threads. And I think it looks the same as I showed you last time because I haven't worked on this month's section yet. And the last one, number 22, is Defarben des Bossers, or The Colors of Water, by Der Werkstatt für Historische Stickmuster.
beautiful, beautiful piece. It calls for glory. No, it calls for a Vera Soie, Soie d'Alger silks. And that is what I'm using. Mine is on 46 count antique white linen. Over halfway, just barely. And believe it or not, that is the 22 projects that I have that are closest to a finish of my 52. I'm a little concerned that after I finish all of those, what I'll be left with is the humongous ones or the ones that I didn't choose because they're just really hard to work on. But we'll deal with that when we come to it. I still have lots of fun ones that are on the in craft prison right now because I'm trying to finish these 23. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I don't have any plans. I am going to the Crazy Woman Stitching Retreat in a week from Thursday in Casper, Wyoming. That will be fun for the weekend. That's being put on by Misty Connolly on Instagram. And we will have a retreat start there. So I will be starting one there. I know that. And I'll be starting one, a retreat start at Stitch West probably as well. Not sure how yet I'm going to fit those into the 23 and the 29. Maybe they'll be small enough I can finish them by the end of the year. Um, oh, I'm also starting autumn montage on the first day of autumn. I've started spring and summer. I'm doing the Jan Lynn kits. So I'll show you that probably next time I film after I get back from Crazy Woman. And I think that's everything. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.